the strategic of the coordinated simultaneous two-front attack was the basis of the joint operations that Sadat and Assad had be began planning in 1971. The new Egyptian defense minister, Mushir Ismail Ali, arrived in Damascus in February 1973, and speaking for Sadat, proposed initiating a coordinate, coordinated attack against Israel. Assad agreed, agreed immediately. On April 23rd, Sadat and Assad <coughs> met at Egyptian presidential retreat in Burj Al Arab, west of Alexandria, for two days of detailed talk, during which they agreed on the main lines of the campaign. In August 1973, they held a summit meeting in Bludan, west of Damascus. There, the decision was made to get in the war in October of that year. D-Day was set for October 6th. This date was determined in another secret meeting that the two presidents held in Cairo on September 12th. Each hour was set for 14.30. Also, an agreement was reached regarding the date and the execution of the war. The two allies seem to have had different ideas regarding the war goals. Assad hoped to return the Golan Heights to their rightful owner. Sadat hoped that the, the two saw the political freeze and kick-start the diplomatic process. While Sadat planned an all-out war with limited objectives, Assad expected the Egyptian army recaptured of all the Sinai, or at least the key points in the western part of the peninsula beyond the mountain pass at Birgaf Gafa and Birt Hamadeh. Assad also intended to assign his troops the task of retaking all of the Golan Heights. Assad claimed that the war aim was the, <coughs> was, was the return of the territories that Israel had seized in 1967. Egypt and Syria were free to plan the offensive on their respective fronts, but it was agreed that Syria's goal was to restoring the Golan and Syria rule, and Syria rule, whereas Egypt, uh, Egypt was to reach the mountain pass in Sinai in the first stage of the campaign, re reorganize and and the recapture of the entire peninsula. <clears throat>